Cancer, welcome. This is your mid-December tarot reading. Um, so, how are you doing? <laughs> um, if you've got cancer anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. Um, thanks for liking and, liking and subscribing. I'm trying to say it different now because my kids told me. <laughs> well, they didn't tell me, but I was watching all their YouTube channels because they have them on all the time. And I was like, oh, they say, thanks for liking and subscribing. <laughs> so, I thought I'd got to start saying that. Oh dear, right. Cancer. If you've got cancer anywhere in your chart, mid December, please. Mm -hmm. Past returns for a time. <laughs> oh dear, that card. I'm not really keen on the past returning, but um, it could just be that things are surfacing because they're purging out and needing to be healed. Um, I actually had a dream last night about my second daughter being born and I had a really traumatic birth with her. And you know, when I dreamt last night about it, I, I dreamt it that she was born again, but I felt so much love for her and it was just amazing to feel how much love I had for her. And um, it was really, that was quite healing. So it could be things surfacing for us, just some more healing, deeper layers just coming out spontaneously we don't need to analyze it or think about it but it's just happening um or it could be that somebody from your past does step in and you end up seeing them you know that is possible um it can i mean i've done the twin flame thing lately and i do feel the twin flame is thinking about us a lot i do think some of them are in contact with us or th thinking about it or just thinking about us and and yet I, I do stand by the fact that I do feel we're really sort of over our twin flame. I feel collectively on this channel, that's just where this soul family is at, that we still care about our twin flame, but it's not, I don't really see us going back to the twin flame. But anyway, you might not all agree with me on that one. Um, if you don't, just put down in the comments. Um, okay, so you've got here the fairy that was kissed by the pixies. So there is definitely some healing coming through for cancer mid-December, you know, like I was just saying, some deeper layers, because that is heart chakra healing. It's heart chakra healing to vibrationally align us to love. So that's just one of the most magical cards in that deck. Um, so what else? Let's go a bit deeper. It's a nice start though uh, for us here. There's loads going on. <sighs> There's going to be loads going on in December. Get ready. Look at that. Tons of stuff going on. Progress in the right direction. It could feel quite busy. Could feel quite busy, but it's good because things are... You've probably had a period of sort of stagnation in a way. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, everything's starting to move forward and happen. Um, it might require you to be quite busy. Um, you've also got here the four of wands, which is great because it's like you're reaching a, lots of different milestones. I would normally say one, but I mean, because you've got the eight of wands here, then you've also got the seven of wands, which is like multiple challenges, but you're strong enough to deal with them and you're very well placed to deal with these challenges. Um, you know, I feel like there's sort of multiple areas in your life that are finally coming together and becoming more um, structured or solid. It's like, not just that, but they're, you're, you're kind of meet, reaching milestones um, in lots of different areas of your life. Like all of a sudden your passions might be improving, your skills might be improving, your healing and you feeling happier in yourself might be improving, certain relationships are improving. It's like everything's going up a level for cancer. You know, we're going up a level. Um, We've, we've released a lot of pain body the last three years. We've released a lot of the ego that we realised we didn't need, uh, but it has to naturally go. It, you can't rush it. Um, and it has naturally gone. And now this, this we're at this higher state of consciousness. And so it's almost like lots of different areas are suddenly improving slightly or maybe quite a lot for some of you. Um, let's have a look at... Um, your person, Cancer's person.
Cancer's person. <sighs> oh, wow. Your person has been very sad, very disappointed. They had the Five of Cups. And it was like you were offering them something amazing, but they just couldn't see it because they were so incredibly sad, um, depressed. And it's a slippery slope for this person when they get depressed. They can end up very negative or getting into the wrong things. You know, you have to be careful with that card if you allow yourself to go down it because it is a slip, can be a real slippery slope. But they're, they're mirroring you and they're reaching a milestone now because they've got the Knight of Wands and Knight of Wands means time for a change. I think this person realises uh, the next month do you know, I've got to move on with my life now. I can't stay in this energy anymore. It ain't doing me no good, you know. Um, and it's it's very refreshing. Now, that could be somebody in your life right now as we speak. Or it could be, you know, your twin flame or somebody that you haven't had contact with for a while. But it's good to know that, you know, they're, they're coming, th they're breaking through, I would say, what was probably one of the hardest times of their life. Um, let's just see what this person's thinking. Okay, you may well hit, get a message from this person. I know I don't want to get people's hopes up too much, but I can only give you what comes out in the cards. Um, you may hear something from this person or perhaps you've got this, <laughs> I don't know, you've had one depressed person in your life and now you, all of a sudden you've got this Knight of Wands charging in on a, on a horse, right? <laughs> now, I know I'm changing it a bit, but it's, there's always multi multiple things possible here. You could have somebody who's had depression, had a really hard time, and they are going to be sending you a message, they're going to be progressing, and they want to take it slow. But they definitely want to keep going with you. This, or this could be somebody new, you know, the person with depression has dropped away, and now you've got somebody new coming in. And this person means business this person is passionate this person is a mirror to you uh, either way whoever this is you are going to be involved with somebody by mid-december who is really excited by you who is really wanting to explore with you okay um let's have a look at what your spirit guides are supporting you with Oh, wow. <laughs> Sacrifice, renunciation, offering and letting go. That's amazing because we were we talking about that, weren't we? At the beginning, I was saying about letting go and it's not easy and it's... Um, or was that in the Pisces reading? I just did. <laughs> well, it, I think that might have been in the Pisces reading, actually. Well, that that's so somehow linked. There's something here. Um, your spirit guides are just enabling you to sort of let go um there's massive healing going on for cancer in the next couple of weeks it comes easy to just embrace the way your life is um because you know you've got this the past coming up for healing or maybe someone from the past coming back in um, and there's this feeling of sort of letting go maybe letting go of pain maybe letting go of sorrow your person's let somebody here is letting go of their really hard time um, you're you're really massively moving forward from your hard time here um, you, and it's really because spirit is actually helping you now um, you're i think you're much more open to the help of spirit now it's easier for you to access that support because you know you're not in so much pain anymore um i know i'm not and it, it does make it easier to um be in the flow you know and um that's what's happening you know there are going to be a lot of different things going on the next couple of weeks but you can manage it quite well so you'd be surprised um heart chakra healing you're meeting somebody or you're connecting with somebody who's ready for a change they want a positive change you know and you're reaching milestones in so many different areas of your life it is a good it is a very positive um shift for cancer so um 
well done to us <laughs> and uh, thanks for liking and subscribing and if you want to book in you know you can email me or you can message me on my facebook page which is awakening tarot um if you want to book in for a reading i do the voice um voice note reading which is cheaper it's, it's affordable it's a 10 minute reading i pack quite a lot of uh, information for you in that 10 minute reading um, or if you do want to catch up and do a proper tarot reading, we can do that over video call. I am sending you lots of love and peace.